welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a project life process video. Uh, this was just for fun. This wasn't for a design team, nothing like that. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've been doing some giant decluttering in my uh, craft room and organizing and cleaning and all that fun stuff. And it felt so amazing. I was just like afraid to craft again because I'm like, ah, I'm going to mess up all my hard work. But that's the point of having a craft room is to use it. So anyway, my point of saying that is, is that I kind of went through some of my stuff and I noticed how much fun um, crepe paper stuff I had. So I went through, I got out my crepe paper box. I have um, each of the desi different designers in different boxes. So I have a crepe paper, I have a separate Maggie Holmes, I have a Paige Evans, Dear Lizzie, etc. And so I decided to pull out the crepe paper box and I realized that I had some birthday pages to do from um, my birthday last year and I have some birthday supplies left over from a swap that I did and even just like older supplies that would be fun to use up like all these chipboards that you're seeing here and it is also um, a couple days till my birthday so it all kind of just felt right to do some birthday pages so that top photo there I didn't really have um, another place to put this photo that's actually from a wedding I went to last year so um, that's kind of it doesn't have to do with my birthday, but I, like I said, I didn't really have a different place for it. So it's going on this spread, which is totally fine. But um, this is a double page spread that I'm doing. Well, not necessarily double, but I'm doing two pages. That's what I mean, a front and a back of this page. Um, and yeah, a lot of it was birthday themed. So, so I had a lot of fun doing this page and I got to use up a lot of older stuff. I don't know about you, but Cute Girl from Crepe Paper was one of my all time favorite collections. And I have a few pieces from that left. Um, I have a bunch of ephemera that um, I got from a pen pal. I think it was Kate who gave me it. I can't remember for sure. But um, I'm kind of hoarding that. I didn't realize how much I would miss it and love it when I used it. I w really wish I bought more because that collection is one of my all-time favorite collections. I love the kitty cats. I love the floral pieces. I love the colors. Um, it was just such a fun collection. Um, crepe paper definitely has some of my favorite collections, including All Heart as well. But anyway, so I'm just using a variety of different crepe paper collections. And you know what? They all kind of went together pretty well. And it's good to use up um, a lot of scrap papers. Um, I don't have a lot of whole papers left from different crepe paper collections, but I have a lot of scraps. And so I could use those to make some, um, make some Project Life cards. So that's what I did. I also, like I said, I, I organized a lot and I realized how many, how much sequins I have. I don't have a lot, but I have some, a good amount. And so I decided to use one of my sequin mixes from Spiegel Mom Scraps and the Wild Hair Kits to, um, put in that pocket and then I added some blue sequins from my stash to bring in more of that blue color to the top. So I will show you another close-up at the end of that page um, but to now I'm going to do the other side and these are pretty simple. These pages really aren't like my favorite or anything super special but they're done and obviously as you can see this is from an entire year ago so I'm happy to get these pages done and in the books or in the album. Um, these are just some random pages that still have yet to be done. I have basically all my photos printed till the end of the year. Um, the fun thing or the nice thing is that in December I do a December daily so I don't feel the need to have to document December again um, if that makes sense because I already did it in December daily so um, I'm pretty sure I have up to November of all my pictures printed and then um, there are a few trip like uh, travel albums that I have yet to do that were from last year but otherwise I'm almost through last year well I'm almost through the printing <laughs> at least as you guys know I have a travel album that I've been working on with crepe paper all heart when my husband and I went to um, Amsterdam and Berlin um, so I'm almost done that album but 
Um, it, it, the hardest part I think is to get the pictures printed. <laughs> the rest is all fun. So, uh, I glad, I'm glad I have that done, but yeah, it was really fun to use up these crepe paper hooray things because I was like, when am I ever going to use these again? Because I did a swap with some ladies that you'll see the unboxing soon. And, um, and then I had some leftover, leftover pieces and I'm like, when am I going to use these? But, uh, this was, it just worked out perfect. Um, and yeah, so these are just some fun gifts that I got for my birthday. I got a Bibbidi Bobbidi box, which is a Disney subscription box, but I just got the one box and I got these, um, Sully ears. And so that was like my birthday crown that I wore for the day, which was kind of fun. Um, and yeah, so I, I hope you're okay. I edited this a little bit differently today. I hope that's all right. Um, and my voiceover is using some different, um, not tools, but different, whatever. <laughs> I'm doing the voiceover a little different than I usually do using um, a different kind of microphone, but I hope this is okay. I'm sorry um, I am late to get this video up. I usually do these videos weeks in advance, but the videos that I wanted to put up, um, I can't yet because some of them are, um, that I thought uh, are from swaps that I thought would already be with the person that it's going to, but it's not yet. So I don't want to share it before they get it. Sorry if that cut out. Um, I'm having some issues. Um, I just got a new iPad and I'm just trying to figure it out. Anyway, hopefully um, tomorrow I will have a scrapbook nerd haul. It might not be up at the beginning of the day, or at least my beginning of the day, my usual time that I get these videos up. Um, just because, oh my gosh, now my Roomba is yelling at me for something. <laughs> this voiceover is not going well. I'm so sorry. Um, yes, I should be posting a scrapbook nerd haul tomorrow of, um, uh, what is it? Magical Forest and is it called Sweet Story? Um, yeah, I got some products from those collections. So that video should be up tomorrow, hopefully at some point. I should be getting my package tomorrow. So that's why I'm saying it might not be um, at the same time as I post every day, but you will hopefully be seeing that video tomorrow. You'll be seeing something tomorrow. So I apologize that this video is up late. Um, yeah, like I said, the videos I had been hoping to post before, I just haven't been able to get the chance because the packages for the, that Happy Meal has not arrived yet. So I don't want to spoil it too much for them. Um, what else do I have to say? Yeah, so I'm just finishing this up. Sorry, I haven't talked too much about the spread, but it's really simple. I'm just cutting down cards or um, papers to act as cards um, and putting the pictures on the papers and embellishing and like I said it's from all different collections but it actually worked out really well and I think it looks cute together like I said not my favorite page in the entire world but I got another page in my scrapbook done and I think that's what matters the most um, I got these memories documented and I'm making my way through my albums um, and yeah what else do I have to say I think that's about it um, oh yeah, I'm just adding some extra embellishments and finishing up the final touches, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're feeling inspired. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and well. Again, I apologize that this video is up late, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a little close up of the page and uh, do I show you the other side? Okay. <laughs> have a great day. Bye.